Hey, today's question, how can I get more views? How could I grow my channel with more views? And this is what we're here to talk about. My name is Eric and welcome to my channel. So you want to grow your channel. You're wondering how come is it that other people's videos, every time they post, they get a lot of views. Well, when it comes to YouTube algorithm, there is a cycle. There is a certain thing, stages where they, it goes through to qualify you or link you to a particular uh, group of viewers. So therefore we're going to talk about recommendation. What it is, is your video is going to be suggested on somebody's page. So that will be based upon your title, tags, and keywords, simply because of that. And also in connection with a search history, that's in the first place why you will be suggested to them. They will click on it and they will watch your video. And if they do so, then YouTube algorithm understand that they have done a good match. Now, let's talk about interaction. Interaction is simply as well as if somebody clicks on the video, you've already appeared on the, onto the page. Now they need to click on the video and watch the video. And that's what YouTube algorithm understand that's interaction. People have to interact with the videos that are coming up onto their pages. We know there is a couple steps you need to go through to reach into, to uh, achieve interaction with your audience. So one of the things you need to take care of is your thumbnail. You need to make sure you have a custom made thumbnail. I already made a video on that, on you, how to make a, a, thumb, a YouTube thumbnail with Canva. The video will be linked up here and also down below. So your thumbnail has to coordinate with your title and also your thumbnail has to be interesting. You, know, you need to stand out from other people's thumbnails. That's why you need to have it custom made. If they click on it, it's an interaction. So YouTube algorithm understands that we finally got uh, a perfect match here. And that brings us to audience retention. Hmm. This is the good stuff here. Audience retention is after you have appeared onto somebody's page, after they have clicked onto the, to the video, that's interaction. Now YouTube's algorithm is focusing on how long they stay onto the video. Now, the average audience retention should be somewhere around 50 to 60%. And uh, I looked it up. When you go onto Google, you can search audience retention, average audience retention. And uh, most of the YouTubers you're watching, all of these big channels and all these people you admire, most of them pretty much have about 50 to 60% uh, retention. So. The reason I'm talking about audience retention is you need to focus on it. You need to go onto your Google Analytics and check your audience retention because you need to know. You could be at 10%, maybe that's why you're not getting views. You could be at 20% and that's quite low. The average, like I say, it's 50 to 60%. How is that helps you? It, it helps you because if I know that people are dropping off my video at halfway through, I need to look at what I'm doing around that period and see what I can improve to keep the, the viewers onto the video. Okay. So if your, your retention is 10%, you have to understand that the first minute of your 10 minute videos, you need to fix it. Whether it be your intro that is probably not right, or maybe it could be so, a number of things. If they drop in at 30%, I, I don't think most people, most people will actually at least reach 20% to 30%. Most people, no matter how quick people drop, it'll be like about 10 to 20%. So you need to look at that particular time. Is it because they're clicking onto the video uh, that do not talk about what the title says? So these things have to coordinate. If you fix that problem, you will see some changes. Now, I'm not gonna make this video too long because I just wanted to make it, you know, brief, you know. I, I, I just wish that most of us can pay attention to our audience. Say you have 10,000 subscribers. Now, what YouTube is looking for is your subscribers interacting with you. Uh, when they uh, comment in your commentary section, you need to kind of like interact with them. Therefore, they will let you know what they want to see next and stuff like that. So if you know that 
you could actually be making videos for your audience. You don't have, don't worry about the mass community. Just think about, first of all, those who are linked to you, those who are subscribed to you. What is it they want to see? Why did they join you? Pay attention to what your audience wants. So imagine you have 10,000 subscribers. You post a video and none of them watch. That's not gonna do you any good. That's actually worse than anything. And it could be one of the reasons why your videos are not getting enough views because it's not going to be suggested anyhow since you already have subscribers. 10,000 subscribers that are not watching your videos, that's not good, even 1,000 subscribers. And how do they do that? You ask them to click on the bell so whenever your video is out, they are notifi notified and they can check your videos. They can watch the videos. And please, guys, when you watch somebody's video, leave a comment. Leave a comment, press the like button. And I'm gonna end my video here asking you to do the same thing. Please like, subscribe, and drop me a comment. Tell me what you want me to make next. And uh, let's, keep, let's, keep this, let's keep this going, all right? And uh, thank you. See you on to the next one. Have a good day. Cheers.